Hello guys, this is Lead Coding. Today we are going to solve the problem rearrange words in a sentence. We are given a sentence text. The first word is in uppercase. Each word in the text are separated by a single space. The task is to rearrange the words in text such that all the words are arranged in an increasing order of their length. If two words have the same length, arrange them in their original order. So the order should be preserved. Basically, we have to perform a stable sorting algorithm. And let us see how we can do this with the help of an example. So here's the example. In this example, the smallest string. All right, first of all, this is given as a string. So what we can do, we can convert each of these words into string and then push all these words into the vector, a vector of type string. So once we have them as separate strings in the vector, then we can further perform other operations. So we should be able to write a sorting function that should sort these strings on the basis of their length. And if the length is same, then it should sort them on the basis of the index where they appeared. Let us say this is at the zeroth index. This is at the first, second, third and the fourth index. So the first criteria to sort is the length. The second criteria is the index. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an index with them while passing them to the sorting function. I'm going to make a pair a pair of type string and int. What this will do? It will keep the string and it will keep the index at which this string appears in the original text. So this will come first in the sorted vector. This will come second as the size is three. Here the size was two. Then the remaining are of size four. So this should come third, this is fourth, and this is fifth. This should be the final output. All right, so let us try to implement this using the code. I'm creating a vector of type pair of string comma int as I have to maintain the index as well as the string. So this will be V. Then I will have a temporary string temp, which will be empty initially. Then I will go auto a belongs to. Uh, let me use the for loop here for int i is equals to zero. I is smaller than n text dot size i plus plus. if text of i is equals to a space then what we have to do we are done with this temp word and we can push this v dot push back this temp as well as the index i in all the other cases we have to add the current character in temp temp plus equals to text of i and once we inserted this temp we have to declare temp as null again we have to again make temp as null one more thing that we should notice is uh, we are given the first character as the capital character so we have to convert it text of 0 is equals to 2 lower text of 0 okay yeah one more thing to be noticed is we have to include an extra space at the end of the temp that is uh, something like this suppose uh, we have this is the text and we have to uh, add an extra space over here so that when the extra space comes and the last word get inserted into the vector. So the word are only getting inserted into the vector when we strike a space. So that is why we have to keep an extra space at the end. Now we have our vector ready. So we can call the sorting function. Sort v.begin. 
we dot end and the comparator function this comparator function we have to write in the class so it should be static it should return a boolean type cmp and it will have two arguments that will be of the type of this pair of string command we are passing them as reference we don't need to copy them because we are not going to make any changes so we can pass them as reference here now if a dot first dot size what is a dot first a dot first is the string so if the size of the string is equals to b dot first dot size in this case we have to compare the second second is the index so return a dot second is smaller than b dot second so this is comparing the index so when the size is same then we have to check for the index and if a dot index is smaller than b dot index then we have to return true so that a gets inserted first in the final sorted vector so this is what we have to do in all the other cases we know that the size is not same so we have to sort according to the size so we can simply return a dot first dot size if it is if this is smaller than a dot b dot second dot size then we have to return 2 so that a can be inserted first if it returns false then b will be inserted first and if it returns true then a will come first in the sequence in the final sorted vector so this is it for the the comparator function now we have sorted this finally we have to return our answer so i have written the answer as temp only so let me make temp as uh, an empty string again then we have the sorted vector for the sorted vector we are going to traverse for auto a belongs to v temp plus equals to a dot first and yeah temp plus equals to a space also we have to capitalize the zeroth character temp zero is equals to two upper temp zero and then return it and yeah while doing this process we are adding an extra space at the end so we have to eliminate the extra space from the end so we have to return temp except the last character we have to return the entire temp temp dot sub str from zero temp dot size minus one so we are only leaving the last character because last character is a space so let us see it is giving the compilation error actually we have done a mistake here so we this should be first I think it is working fine let us try to submit this yes so it got accepted so we know that the sorting function is n log n so here n is given to be 10 to the power 5 hence it is working fine we are also using the extra space here so this is it for the solution please do not forget to subscribe to the channel i try my best uploading solutions to the weekly contest as soon as the contest is over